this comic called The Collector, Unit 731 from Dark Horse, written by Will Conrad, uh, art by Rod Montiero. Uh, it's part of a three-issue series, um, and it's about people in the Second World War being experimented on in a prison camp. That's all I knew when I got it. I thought, three issues, I'll give it a go. At least my, my first impressions of it, really. Um, you've got this bit of blurb at the start. It says, uh, there's a guy, through many lifetimes he's travelled, watching society's changes over the centuries. Michael has had many names and has many oh, experienced many adventures. A living witness of humanity's greatest and darkest moments. He has gathered artefacts, stories, wealth and enemies. Michael Smith is a collector. So he's some sort of immortal being. And you start off in present day New York, uh, looking at an obituary, putting it in his scrapbook of a chap called John. And then you flash back to 1941 in the Second World War, and him and his mate John are trying to get out and get back to America, but they get picked up by the Japanese and put in a prison camp. Um, so far so standard uh, what they very quickly find out and this is explained to us through the book is that this prison camp is one where they are experimenting on prisoners now I assume these experiments might be some sort of sci-fi style experiments but they're not uh, they are experimenting on them with a flu-like virus um, or pneumonia and they are trying to make them ill that is the mnemonic plague and they have a control group, they have a vaccinated group, and they just want to see how they react to it and whether it could be a good chemical weapon. Um, it's a well-told story. It's, you know, got nice bit of science blurb in it, nice bit of, you know, character development for the parties you've got. What's going to happen inside those three issues, whether you're going to get any further explanation as to what Michael Smith is, um... I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how they're going to pack that into essentially, what, not even 40 pages, um, probably realistically 36 pages, and finish out the story. Um, be interested to see. But otherwise, I like a war story. I like the art in this, and for the sake of two more issues, I'm willing to see what happens. If this was an open-ended story, or there wasn't um, much interesting going on, after a couple of issues, I might well drop reading this. But at the moment, things are pretty quiet as far as regular monthly comics coming out that I enjoy. And I'm happy to take a punt on this one. Uh, let me know if this is something you're interested in and whether this helped. If it did, please give us a like. It does help. And thanks for watching.